Thanks, like, and subscribe. What's going on, Crypto Nation? Gbonics coming at you with a brand new cryptocurrency video. And in today's video, we're just going to check out the markets right quick and talk about a few things that have been happening in the space. I've been seeing a couple things going on, and I just wanted to give my two cents on them. So today, we got a market cap of $163 billion. I'm still waiting to see that hit that $200 billion just because when that happens, we'll be one-fifth to a trillion. And yeah, man, the more, the more the market cap of the whole entire cryptocurrency market goes up, the more eyes fall on it, the more people get curious, and the more people want to join and get a piece of the action, get some skin in the game. It's an awesome thing. It's beautiful. So we got a BTC dominance of 55.6. Bitcoin is at 5,400. And I'm not going to cover any of the, of the other coins because it's been a slow day. Nothing has really shown any price action on the top tens, at least from what I've seen. And yeah, I think it's just a time to, to consolidate and see where we go from there. We are definitely not in a bubble. I do not believe it cryptocurrencies can be in a bubble not for years to come not till we hit at least a trillion so yeah that's my thoughts on that moving on to genesis mining i got paid 0 0.07 today which is according to google around 381 and according to ducka gogo it's uh 398 slow days still waiting for the genesis mining contracts to come back i hope they do soon because i like to passively reinvest the other payments that i've been getting with the with genesis mining i haven't really been paying attention to them because um at this point dash doesn't seem to be profitable um i think i'm definitely gonna fall behind on the dash mining and then f is is coming in slow i don't really feel like uh wasting any more any more of my bitcoin to try to upgrade these other contracts because um at the end of the day btc is the play so if i move to bitconnect it was also a slow day on bitconnect 60 62 dollars and this was because of a 0.04 percent kick out that was given two days in a row hopefully that doesn't happen again but i mean I can't expect much from from these sites this site I, I could almost compare it to steam it except it does it automatically in steam it you have to kind of work and write articles and like pretty much post to get your returns back and this in bitconnect you just kind of have to chill i've used it for a while now and i like it so i mean i will have to bear with it if i feel like i'm not getting enough from this site in the future i mean i i, I will definitely try to find another avenue to make make more uh cryptocurrencies but for now it's pretty good tomorrow this is promised 1.73 so i'm feeling pretty good about it the next i wanted to talk about this if connect if you've gone to the white paper and you read it i mean there's there's a couple things that are just you know it reads like fluff like just the the same copy and paste of all the other coins that are trying to set white papers i mean all of these white papers you know take them with a grain of salt they they sound really good but at the end of the day what the, what they're saying doesn't even make sense there's a couple contradictions on this white paper that i read um it's pretty much a carbon copy of bitconnect and i feel like the hook for this coin is gonna be the fact that you could invest with f but if you go and if you make an account for yourself and check out the site it looks almost exactly like bitconnect so yeah this is going to be an erc20 token and and it's supposed to be a lending platform i heard earlier that 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 they changed the photos of the founders and the co-founders supposedly on twitter they found the person that was in one of these photos and it wasn't the same person so uh, yeah this is this is what people are finding sketchy about this i might throw 500 dollars into this just to get a cheap ico because i haven't jumped in any of the icos and i was a little excited about this but i'm starting to 
forget about all these dreams about these ICOs making massive gains and just sticking to my conservative investments and just rolling with that. Maybe in the future, if I grow the channel, get some referrals, that's an easier way to actually make money instead of uh, wishing and hoping that these ICOs come and save the day. It's pretty much getting out of control because at this point you know they're coming out with a new one every single week seems like every single day and they're all pretty much the same thing you know get them cheap sell them when they get to the exchanges and that's pretty much a gamble and basically i didn't really get into cryptocurrencies to gamble at the end of the day like i did get into cryptocurrencies to to have a store of value and to to have something that's that's just better money so when you get into these ICOs, man, you're just kind of playing around. And I don't want to do none of the playing around. Look at this. This looks exactly like BitConnect. This is the same exact thing. You're staking, you're mining, all of that stuff. It's it's just a, a, a little copy from BitConnect. And they try to make it a little better by, by uh, diminishing how much days you have to wait. You know? it's 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 cool it's a good idea i i i appreciate that these things come out but at the end of the day you know i'm not i'm not trying to hop on these bandwagons because people want to get the same effect that cryptocurrencies can has given others i mean they just want one of those big booms they want a boomer and i understand I, I myself wanted some boomers but i'm i'm starting to think that man these things these things are just for 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 whales by whales so i'm gonna i'm gonna stay away from it i checked out the i checked out this little article on steam it He's going to buy some, whoever wrote this article. I checked out their their Twitter. It was joined August 2017, so it's brand new. I checked the Facebook. It was registered in 2017 as well. And, yeah, I, I don't know why people are so gung-ho on these things that are so new. I mean, everybody, you can't compare this to BitConnect because in BitConnect, people started jumping into BitConnect way after the ICO was already out. Like people started jumping into BitConnect when BitConnect was a few months old. Um, and these things are are brand brand new. These things, the the Twitter just got made two months ago. So with stuff like this, I rather wait. Um, if I miss out on money, it is what it is. Uh, personally, I'm making enough per day. Even though, even though I haven't hit my goal, I'm still making enough per day as to where I don't have to take any risk with such things like this. I mean, I still want to. But man, when you see things like this, it's a nice sight. But look at this compared to BitConnect. Look at that. They look almost identical. They look almost identical. We got the exchange buttons up here everything looks almost identical so i i don't know i don't know i'll probably drop 500 dollars the the icos in six days maybe maybe i'll try it out and probably jump out on the ico with some profits who knows i checked the who is everything is blocked registered private so we can't even know where they're from and yeah i mean that's what people have been talking about in the crypto space today but i don't understand why people get so like stuck on these things there's no there's no one to even speak to about them there's just hearsay so i mean people that defend these things to the ends i just i'll never understand them. so yeah the last couple things i want to talk about 